What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. Look, man, I'm excited about this unboxing right here, Army. I've been waiting on these joints since last year. Before I even get all into all the details, Army, again, I want to thank you all for supporting your boy with the merch. I still got Royal hoodies left, still got bread hoodies left. Only got mediums left in the Jubilee hoodies. Only medium, that's it. I still got sizes in the Jubilee shorts, bread shorts, and the Hamas shorts as far as the UNC shorts. I want to say I just got a medium and a 2X left. That's all army. And now I am officially working on the next drop. And yo, the next drop is going to be something crazy army. I'm talking about completely different stuff. So again, shout out to the army for being there with me on this journey, man. The journey of doing my own merch and stuff, army. I appreciate you guys so much. So if you guys still want to buy some of the hoodies and shorts that I got now, just DM me. I'll go ahead and make sure I post everything on IG as well. Let me stop talking. Let me go ahead and open up what's in the box. Army, y'all know when it comes to expensive sneakers, I only rock with two main people, okay? English Souls and Sneaker Sluts on IG. This package in particular is coming from my brothers over there at English Soul. And also, Army, in order for me to get these right here, I literally sold four, over probably over 40 pairs of sneakers in order to cover the damage for these right here. And I told y'all, I'm slowly but surely getting rid of shoes that I just don't see myself wearing. I already took out 20 pairs of shoes out the vault. I can actually see my floor now. My goal was to get my vault down to about 150 pairs. By the end of this year, I may be able to succeed there. But then again, there's so much heat dropping in this year. I, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. But as you guys can see right here, Army, I got two pairs of sneakers in this box right here. So let's go ahead and get an OG one, it's respect, all right? And of course, we know it's a sample tag. Name of the shoe is Air Jordan 1 Retro High. Oh, colorway is white amarillo. Size is 11, okay? Size is 11. Let's go ahead and flip the lid and army. With these right here, okay? With these right here, I want to say I'm done, all right? I want to say I'm done with the entire Air Jordan Michigan collection. Now, I got to double check. Ugh. Get off of me. I got to double check, Army. These joints are nasty, Now This is the first collegiate Air Jordan 1 that I own. I know they got the Jordan 1 Michigan. They got the Jordan 1 UNC. They got the Jordan 1 uh, Georgetown. They got the Jordan 1 Florida. Hold on. Let me go ahead and FaceTime Drew English so he can go ahead and let me know all of the Air Jordan 1s as far as the collegiate joints. Army, so I got Drew English, one of the co-founders of English Soul. Again, Army, whenever you see Michigan in the vault, I got it from English Soul. Now, Drew, what other Air Jordan 1 PEs are there still out there that I need to get? So, so, so far you got the, uh, the Michigan 1s only, right? Yes, sir. So there's actually, there's six of them that are made um, for each of the schools that are with Jordan brand. Uh, and that was all the ones from, I believe, 2019. Um, in 2020, they added a few other schools like San Diego State, Houston, UCLA is coming on board, and they're, they're adding a lot more. But for the ones, there's six. So it's Oklahoma, Florida, Michigan, Georgetown, UNC. Mark, that's the last one. Okay. Now, out of all six, which one is the most exclusive one? The most exclusive is Marquette. There's um, about 25 of those made. Wow. And then Georgetown. Georgetown's the second most exclusive. And wow. those are about, I want to say about 40 or 50. Uh, it's hard to say exactly, but it's like 40 or 50. Only 40 or 50 pairs made for Georgetown and about 25 made for uh, Marquette? Yeah, yep. Okay, so Michigan is done. Now, If I, what, what shoe or what school should I start trying to attack next? Since I got Michigan, is complete. Man, so there, there's a few ways I think you could go with it because you already got to start on Marquette with the old Marquette fours. Mm -hmm. Um, but the downside to that is your collection is going to look all blue and yellow. You know? So like you're going to have a wall of all blue and yellow shoes. So if you wanted to like diversify a little bit with just kind of the you know the different comp color combinations you could work if you want to wear all that. Um, 
personally, I would say something like Oklahoma, mm -hmm. UNC would probably be the next way to go. Just because it's like, and I know UNC is blue also, but it's like that light blue that makes it different, you know. Facts. Um, but but Oklahoma, I think for me, and that's I'm, I'm a bit biased because Oklahomas are my favorite because my favorite color is red. Okay. But if you look at all the schools, they all have kind of a color palette. Every other school has like a blue, like Georgetown's dark, like dark navy, right? Mm -hmm. Michigan is like a royal blue. Marquette's like that royal blue and baby blue. UNC's baby blue. Um, Florida has like just like that true like. Florida blue, joints like, are dope blue. too. Yeah, those are sick, and, and they don't they don't t cost much. And then the orange hits on it definitely make it stand out a little more. Okay. Uh, so, but personally, if you want to diversify, I think Oklahoma's the way to go. And for the price point, you know, you can get more of them up front you know okay you got a pair of oklahoma ones right in my size i do i got a uh, size 11 in those yep and i think i got an 11 and a half in the fourth so i could actually get you that whole set pretty much right now all right bro we'll talk after this <laughs> appreciate you bro yeah anytime man uh, uh and then i appreciate all your guys you know i get hit up a lot by people that subscribe to you saying they heard about us from you so I, as always i appreciate your support and like sending people our way for samples and peas and all that so we definitely appreciate you eric love bro appreciate you yeah thanks sure. bro so y'all heard it army i'm gonna start getting people like drew english and sneaker sluts on my channel army so y'all can learn more about these pe's and these exclusive sneakers so, army this was the first joint that's in the box of course, we're going to jump on a turntable to see these up close. And I'm just thirsty for the next pair. I'm extremely thirsty for these, okay? I'm extremely thirsty because, you know, I'm not even going to give y'all a hint. I'm going to read the label on the box. The label on the box reads, Air Jordan 3 Retro. Colorway is white. Valor blue. Cement gray. That should sound very familiar to the people who loved, absolutely loved, and I was one of them. The Air Jordan 3 UNC's that dropped last year. But, but, your boy wind up snagging the UNC Jordan 3 PEs. I wind up going with the PEs Army. I love the 2020 version of the UNC's, but y'all know the direction I'm trying to go in, Army, and to find these at the price that I got them for. Because, Army, when these joints first dropped, I forget what sneaker kind I was at, but the first time I seen these, the guy was asking like seven grand. Now, here's a pro and con for the PEs and stuff actually dropping. Sometimes when they drop, the price on the PE drops. For instance, the Air Jordan 12 Michigan. When those dropped, the general release, the PEs plummeted. They went down so bad. So it was easy for people to go ahead and cop those. Same thing with these. These were going for like half of what they were going for a few years ago when they first dropped. And that was only because we got the GR version that came out last year. Now, eventually, these will go back up in price. They will go back up in price. So me knowing that, I have to go ahead and snag these joints up. Now, to be honest, it's not a lot of differences between the two. Of course, we got our UNC right here on the tongue. You know what, Army? Let's just go ahead and jump on the turntable, give these joints an up close personal look, then we can jump back in front of the camera to end the video off. All right, Army, got both boxes on the turntable. Retro 1's at the bottom, Retro 3's at the top. Looking at the label for the Retro 3's, label reads Air Jordan 3 Retro, colorway white, valor blue, cement gray, size 10 and a half. And for the Retro, ones air jordan one retro high og right armadillo size 11 okay so when it comes to the samples and pe boxes they pretty much just a regular og box with just the sample tag on them nothing special all right army so we're gonna check out the jordan one michigan first all right outsole on the joints you got that armadillo yellow outsole you got that white midsole. You got your Michigan blue on the upper. Now, it's a lot going on with these, especially as far as like the different textiles on the shoe. You know, gives me kind of like the Jordan 1 animal print vibe. Like up here on the ankle collar, you got like a reptile-like material pretty much all over. You got Stingray back here on the back of the shoe. Even your Nike swoosh is Stingray. And your white sad panel has a feel of like 
man, this this material right here has been on another pair of Air Jordan. Um, I just can't put my finger on it to figure out exactly where this material has been at, but this is definitely a material that we have had. You got a yellow toe box, okay? Yellow toe box still kind of has like that bumpy, like reptile material. Look at the toe cap. These joints are just beautiful arm. This is a nice shoe again. Now I need to start collecting the other joints, okay? Going up, you got like your flat laces. The left shoe has the Michigan on the tongue. The right shoe has your traditional Nike Air. You got your Jordan wing emblem on the side of the joints as well. The insole, if you guys can see that, you got the M for Michigan right there in the insole. The right shoe has Nike Air in the insole. And that's pretty much it for your Air Jordan 1 Michigan joints. Now to the UNC's. Like I say, Army, pretty much exactly like the Air Jordan 3 UNCs that we got earlier last year. You don't have your Obsidian Blue right here behind the tongue. You got your UNC, and then you got football behind the tongue. You got that UNC Blue, beautiful UNC Blue. What I absolutely love is that tongue right there. We got our UNC logo right here on the tongue instead of having a jump man for your insole your insoles have the unc colorway as well just an overall fire pair of air jordan threes army again these are so close to the grs that we got it's just a couple things that are different on these but a hundred percent not mad at all about these joints right here army so i'm gonna go ahead and give these one more quick 360 of the jordan one michigan's one more quick 360 then we can jump back in front of the camera to end the video off all right army let your boy know how he did picking up the air jordan one oh my god the air jordan one michigan's the Air Jordan 3 UNC's. Let me know how I did in the comment section below. Now with the UNC 4's, UNC 4's are roughly like 6,500 to seven grand, depending on who you grabbing them from. I need those and I need the ones. They also got the Air Jordan 13 UNC Lowe's. I seen the 10 and a half in the, in the UNC Lowe's is actually a retro 13. And I should have snagged them. I should have snagged them because, again, Army, once these PEs are gone, you heard how many pairs of the Marquettes. He said 25 pairs. So the odds of me finding one is going to be slim to none. And once I do find it, I'm sure the price is going to be astronomical because I've had chances of grabbing these. But I was just like, eh, you know, it's other things like OVOs that I wanted to grab before I went back to starting to grab the collegiate stuff. So again, Army, smash that thumbs up. Let me know how I did in the comment section below. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable vote. We adding the Air Jordan 1 Michigans to the vault. We adding the Air Jordan 3 UNC PEs to the vault. Unbreakable Army, I love you guys. Stand strong like always. Hug your loved ones. And we out. See y'all tomorrow for the live. We going live for the Jordan 1 Volts.